What's going on guys? It's Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear. How'd you like that new intro? <laughs> that intro was made for me by Nebucloud. I will have all of his information down below his Instagram and his YouTube channel because he has a YouTube channel. Definitely want you to go over there and check it out. He's really been an invaluable source for a lot of newer YouTubers and even older YouTubers. Uh, to get some of the technical stuff done, like the intros and all that stuff that us dumbasses really don't know how to do. <laughs> and uh, and he just kind of hit me up and, or, and made one and sent it to me. And I was like, holy crap. We tweaked it a little bit and now I could not be happier. And Nebby Cloud, you're the man. I really, really appreciate it. So anyways... I like it. Let me know if you guys like it. There's nothing, there's not, there's really nothing not to like. It's got pictures of knives. It's got pictures of the flag. It's got pictures of my flag. I mean, come on now. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about EDC pins. Uh, I am not an expert on pins. I've actually only recently got some EDC pins. Uh, I usually carry something like this, which is the Zebra 701. Zebra, the F701. But lately, I have, well, actually left the EDC. My brother, Kevin, has gotten some pins. And he was kind of going through the motions and buying some pins, trying to figure out which ones he liked. And luckily for me, he didn't like some of the ones he bought. <laughs> so I got some at a bro deal. And then some of the other ones I have already purchased or I got in a subscription box. And so I'm really, really excited about the pins that I have. We're gonna go talk, or we're gonna talk about how I use them, which ones I like the best. I mean, and these are just a few examples, uh, but we are gonna turn the camera around to get a look at these guys and talk about it that way because holding up all these, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, like five pins that we're gonna talk about today. And uh, we'll get a close look and some specs on those, what I like about some, what I don't like about the other ones. And hopefully you enjoy it because it's not a knife, but it's something that I do carry every single day. And it is very important. I had to have a writing utensil on you. So anyways, let's flip the camera around and get started. All right. Let's get started here. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five pins, five EDC pins that I think are all great choices, but they have uh, a lot of different features and, you know, they're different sizes. So I'm hoping that with this array, you might get an idea if you're looking for an EDC pin about what you can expect. Like I said, there are tons of options out there. And I am not an expert on any of them, and I've just been using these. So take all this with a grain of salt, and maybe this will help, and maybe it won't. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have. So the smallest one here, I got in the Going Gear EDC subscription box. This is going to be a hard, there we go. Uh, this is the Mech Army TP X8. Uh, it is something that I got in that subscription box, and it is a bolt action pen. Little bitty guy, but a bolt action. If I can get this in the camera. So as you can see, boom. So really, really cool, very, very small. So I mean, I'm, I'm when I'm writing, I like to have something bigger. But this actually fits perfectly in my EDC holster thing that I have with my flashlight and my um, Leatherman Charge Right, let them in charge. Holy crap, I can't remember. I think it's the Charge Plus. Yes, yeah, the Charge Plus. <laughs> Sorry, can't even remember. I love this tool though. I've had it for a while and absolutely love it. Uh, but as you see right here, it has a place for a flashlight. It has a place for the multi-tool. It also has a place for a pin. So this pin sits right there. And with this little D-ring, it actually prevents it from going all the way down, but actually has really, you know, really good retention to where it's, or, you know, not like, having to drag it out and also not going to fall out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, <laughs> I lied to you. Okay, it used to be. The leather has gotten a little bit, um, you know, stretched out. But this thing rides on my hip. I don't have a problem with this thing coming out of the thing because it rides on my hip. And it is not, I mean, at most, I'm doing this, right? I'm a fat guy. I don't bend over a lot. So, anyways, that's where this thing rides. And... It's not my primary 
EDC pen. This thing works amazing uh, as a little backup pen. I have that because whenever I have my EDC pen, I might lay it down on my desk, walk back into the shop and do something, need to have a writing utensil. So I always have this in that little spot on that holster and it works really good. Uh, I have to admit it works really, really well. It is all titanium, so it is very, very light. Um, the fill, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, an expert on the, um, the refills or anything like that, but the Mech Army website says it's a lamb, like a German Lamy M22 refill. Don't know. It, it writes good. Okay. It writes good. <laughs> so that's all I can say. But as far as a small EDC pen that you can keep on your keychain, just throw in your pocket. It's very, very nice. Very well made. Uh, does have some pretty cool intricate lathe work. There's your logo. So it's, it's well made. I, I really have enjoyed it, and it was something that I was really excited to get in that EDC subscription box. The next one is the Fisher Space Pen. This is the Fisher Space Pen Bullet. I had the matte black one, and I lost it, <laughs> so I ended up going with the brass. I don't really recommend the brass. If you like the patina, cool. Um, you know, and I do like the patina, but I think I still after having that matte black one, we would prefer the matte black. But I originally got this to go uh, in this little, or bought another one to go into this little pocket. However, it's a little bit longer, but every time I would pull it out, uh, whenever it was tighter, it would that would stay in, or vice versa, that would stay in the pocket. So it didn't really work for that application, but these pens are awesome. They're Fisher Space Pens. If you don't know about the Fisher Space Pen, they are pressurized cartridges, which means they will write upside down and basically on anything. Uh, they are very, very handy. If you have a write in the rain pad, this is a great companion to have for those pads because it will work when it's wet and all of that stuff, um, you know, I love it. I love it because it is a wonderful innovation with that pressurized cartridge to write anywhere. Uh, so if you are, you know, I mean, if you're writing on walls and stuff, your construction, you're kind of doing all that stuff uh, where you're not writing straight down. This is invaluable because you can always write and you won't have to, you know, the ink run out and you have to do this number and knock it on the thing, <laughs> you know, how we all have to do. So very nice. Uh, this thing, I forgot to mention was uh, about 66 bucks uh you know retail price these are only like 25 bucks i think they're an excellent excellent deal uh and then before i got any of these i would carry something like this which is the uh zebra f uh 701 stainless steel pen knurling on the side very comfortable well writing knife however i dropped it and now it doesn't really work <laughs> so I dropped it like right on that thing and I could probably take it apart and put a new spring or whatever I got to do to make it work. But, uh, crap, I don't know, man, this, this is like the lighting in here with these shiny objects. Right. Uh, but and it worked really good and they're really cheap. I can't remember how much, I mean, they're like six, 10, I can't remember, but something really, really cheap that anybody can go to any, you know, office depot or even at Walmart and pick that up. Boy, I don't know if this is actually, is this focusing guys? Sorry, this is a new kind of setup for me. I cannot wait. I've got a new mat coming in from Lancelot Leather. If you've watched Kevin Lefty EDC, uh, his new mat, I'm getting one made for me and I just absolutely can't wait. Like I'm, I hate doing desktops right now because I don't have that mat. That mat is going to be epic. So anyways, uh, and it will also help, I guess, for, for all this. Um, next we have the tactile turn. A uh, very well-known EDC company. This is a titanium, and it's, this is their side-click model. So as you can see here, maybe, golly, sorry guys. This new uh, this new way of doing stuff is not really working out too well because I think I've, I've messed up my focus. <laughs> so anyways, uh, tactile turn. This is the side-click. So you just have that little button there. This thing is so freaking fidgety. I do this all the time, drives my coworkers, my wife, and everybody else just absolutely crazy, but I love it. Uh, it is so, so fidgety. It is, I didn't actually do any kind of sizes or anything, but it is actually their short model, which they have a smaller model, but this is called their short, and it's still 5.3 inches overall. 
You've got on the um, mech army, you've got 3.07 uh, and about 413 thousandths on diameter of the Fisher Space Pen. You have closed about 3.75, open about 5.275 and about 383 on the uh, diameter. I'm not sure about this one. It is about the same size as the, uh, the uh, tactile turn. Uh, which this one, like I said, is their um, short model, but it's 5.3 inches and a uh, whopping 425 diameter, 0.425. So this is the thickest one out of them all. Really thick titanium, so it is lightweight. Nice pocket clip. It is a little tight. I usually carry my pins inside of my shirt. I have a, you know, most of the time wear a polo shirt. So in between those buttons at the top, I will slide it into that uh, collar portion and it is rather tight getting in there but you're not going to have to worry about it falling out that is for sure <laughs> and then you have this guy this is the pina x series got a little ink on me the pina x series uh bolt action pin this one was the first one that i got from lefty and i got a bro deal on both of these because he's awesome uh but the bolt action like on this one this one's a lot more fun because it is more my size it is uh you know about Five and a half inches and about 430 thousandths in diameter, but it tapers off. This one has a full thickness. This one kind of tapers off. The full diameter is back here. So it actually is a little bit more comfortable to write with uh, because it thins out right here. It is a heavier pin, uh, but I kind of like that. I don't know if I can do it here under the camera, but this is something that I do with my pins when I'm just kind of sitting around waiting on. Oh my God, see, <laughs> I'm just kind of fumble with my pen like this and just kind of throw it over my thing it's just something that i do while i'm sitting there waiting on a meeting to start or whatever and i'm sitting at the desk looking at a, an engineering print going what the hell were these guys thinking that's just usually what i do sitting at my desk doing that and this one is very top heavy this one works you know well as you know it works just as well uh it's just not as top heavy to do my little fidget that i do so it's like jake from bearded gear but with pins. So <laughs> anyways, um, as far as the, the cartridges, these take the Parker, oh no, I'm sorry, the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, but you can replace them, obviously anything that'll take those particular style, uh, style of cartridges. I can't remember exactly what Lefty EDC says he likes to write with because the gel ones, if you're left-handed, you know, it'll smear. Uh, so you you have a lot of options, especially with these two on the refills and you can kind of, you know, pick your poison. Uh, both of these titanium, very high quality, well-made, expensive. These are about $100 a piece for both of these. Very cheap, very cheap halfway cheap um so you've got a lot of options here I, you know like i said there's tons and tons out there uh and if i had to pick my favorite as far as writing with it would be the pinya i really think it's a very comfortable knife i kind of like the heft on the back of it the pocket clip works a little bit better than the tactile turn uh because as you can see kind of the profile there versus the profile on this one it just goes you know in and out of my shirt not really a pocket i don't keep this in the pocket but it comes you know a little bit better and it writes really good really comfortable this one is just so much more fun and i i find myself wanting to carry this a lot just because i prefer this side click more than the uh bolt action and i didn't think i would i really thought the bolt action would be the thing that got me and just i would always do it which i still carry i carry both of these this one i think is just a little bit more fidgety it is uh thicker all the way down so writing with it is a little different compared to this i would actually i like this taper on the pinya versus the full diameter of this guy and with the manufacturing these guys these things are 100 bucks so keep that in mind damn it man i'm telling you what this freaking camera uh so they are very, very well made titanium. And, you know, the the transitions that you have between where you unscrew the fullers here to give you grip, very, very nice. The tactile turn has these really nice, come on, fucker. Sorry, this is, I've got to figure something out. You guys are like, wow, don't you get that figured out before you go, right? See if you can see the, um, damn, it's just, it's shiny. See the little ribs? Like these are machine lines and if you can hear that, very well done, but you can't see the dead gum 
Come on, you piece of shit. You cannot see the transition uh, where the where you unscrew it. I mean, it is totally flawless. As a matter of fact, I had no idea how to do that. <laughs> whenever, yep. Uh, whenever I was taking this, I was like, how the hell do you take this apart? And it is right here where you unscrew it, but it is a seamless thread on to where it works so very well and is just beautiful. Anyways, guys, I am not an expert. I just kind of wanted to showcase these that I have and tell you how much I like it. I really do. Most everybody, we buy the cheap, crappy pens, right? They work. They're reliable. I get it. You don't need an expensive EDC pen. However, it is kind of a luxury. I love the fact that I got this, you know, from Kevin Left EDC and that it is made by Pena Knives, a knife company. Tactile Turn is a big name in the EDC world right now, and they're very high quality products. Uh, I I like the fact that I have a nice you you know writing utensil. You know, when I'm at work, everybody uses those regular pens that the office buys. And uh, whenever I have something to write with, everybody's like, oh, that's a, that's a cool pen, you know. And uh, it's, oh, is that a little bit of vanity? Probably. But I like having cool EDC gear. And having an EDC, uh, a, you know, a nice EDC style pen is something that uh, I think everybody should at least try. If you don't want to spend that kind of money on an EDC pen, I totally get it. These are relatively inexpensive and so are these, but I think they work great. They look great. I would definitely go with a matte versus this, but they have a chromed out one. They have a, you know, a few different uh, variations. They also have a, po uh, a pocket clip that will snap onto this thing so you can use it and not throw it in your, uh, your pocket, which it's very lightweight, so it's not going to... And before we go, I just I know people are going to ask, so especially between the Pena and the Tactile Turn, because those are very popular. The Pena knife, 1.5 ounces. The Tactile Turn, 1.15 ounces. So that is the major difference between these two, is that weight. Uh, just so you know, the you know, 0.85 on the uh, Zebra. 0.7 on the bullet and the mech army is 0.65 so there are your weights if you are interested <laughs> i just don't think that the weight of a pin is going to matter that much but guys you know me i carry very heavy knives and say the weight doesn't bother me because that's who i am so anyways this is a little bit different one guys i appreciate you stopping by and checking it out if you have a good edc pin that you can recommend to those who are watching this and you uh that you think they're better than these go ahead and leave it in the comments. I would love to see what you guys carry and then maybe I'll try those as well. These I got on bro deals from Kevin Lefty EDC so I might be able to pick up another one. I don't know. It's just oh, when you start collecting the rabbit hole goes deep and it's crazy. So anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by. Definitely go check out NebuCloud. Uh, all his stuff will be linked down below. I will try to put links for all of these pins in the link down below as well if you're interested in buying any of them. Not affiliated, just links that you can go and buy. Guys, stay safe in this crazy world that we are living in. And we will see you in the next one.